Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk. In this video, we are going to discuss about an important feature of WebLogic, which is called the Messaging Bridge, okay, and JMS Bridge Destination. It is a feature which is used for the cross-domain communications, or you can say between the JMS and some third-party uh, message providers. For example, uh, JMS in WebLogic and then WebSphere MQ. Okay, so in so far in some previous uh, lectures we have discussed about uh, the basic components of jms and then the practical implementation we saw a demo how we can configure the jms messaging queue and then jms module jms server for end-to-end -end communication then how an application send a message to queue and then how the application can pick from the queue okay but practically when we talk about the enterprise world where we are a single application is communicating with a lot of applications, like a lot of integrations where uh, there could be some applications exist in the cloud or maybe some applications in the on-premise as well. Okay, but they have, have a different uh, providers for that. There would be a different ownership of the applications where one, one application is processing and then sending message to some different application. And then it is then applic that application is processing the request, maybe sending to different application or maybe sending response back to some application. So, in a nutshell, you can say about an enterprise world where we have a multiple applications are scattered around the world and they are communicating with each other. Then for that, we need a system in place so that application can communicate with each other. So when we talk about the communication, that means applications are sending the messages from one application to their application. Right. So the functionality in WebLogic for that is a messaging bridge. Okay. So bridge is a kind of a a kind of a line or you can say is a kind of a connector between two different uh, messaging systems okay so that one system can send message to another system and that we will see in detail with the demo with the practical implementation how we can configure it in weblogic server so now what is a messaging bridge so messaging bridge is a messaging forwarding mechanism which also provide interoperability between WebLogic JMS implementations and between any other JMS messaging products like MQ or even can be used between two different domains of WebLogic server, which can be in the same version or different version. So this is the beauty of this JMS bridge, okay, where one messaging system, for example, WebLogic JMS is talking with some other messaging system, which could be IBM WebSphere MQ. Okay, so maybe one client is using the IBM WebSphere MQ for the messaging system, the other client is using the JMS of the, of the WebLogic and but their application need to communicate with each other. They, they, there has to be something uh, in place for the exchanging of messages between these kind of applications or there could be like one client is using the WebLogic version 12.2.1.3 and the other client is using 12.2.1.4, okay? And then uh, there is a communication is required between the two different domains. Those are using the different versions of WebLogic, okay? So this all kind of a, uh, uh, implementations can be possible with the help of messaging bridge, okay? So messaging bridge is, yes, as a name, it, it, it is clear from the name as well. It is a bridge between two different messaging systems where uh, it is passing the messages from source to destination, okay? And this is called your messaging bridge. For example, you have two messaging systems. Those are, this could be a two different domains of WebLogic or there could be a two different messaging systems from different service providers, right? They wanted to communicate with each other. They wanted to share the message with each other. So for that, you need a queue, right? Because queue is a, a logical entity which is store your physical messages, okay? This we have saw in the previous lectures of messaging, okay? And... So one queue, that means the messaging system one will have to send a message in source queue. And then from source queue, the message will move to the destination queue, okay, which is required by the system two. So that means the message will in queue from the source queue to the destination queue. So in the messaging system one, you will have application which will write the message to your source queue, okay. And then from source queue, the messages will pass to the destination queue with the help of messaging bridge. And this is called the messaging bridge system. Okay, and how does it work? So as I said, so messaging bridge is a type of forwarding mechanism in which a resource adapter is used, okay? So now when we, when we say that the messaging system one is talking to messaging system two and we are configuring a messages bridge in between, okay? So the physical entity which make this happen in the bridge is called the resource adapter, okay? So resource adapter, you don't need to worry about that one because it already al al also it already shipped with the web logic. Okay, and it is automatically get populated when you will configure the bridge. Okay, but for your understanding that bridge work on the resource adapters. So resource adapter is the physical uh, entity which make the connection between your source and destination messaging system. So source which is producing the message and target which is encapsulating the message, picking the message. Okay, and now understand from this one, we have a two messaging system one and two where the message 
from source queue need to be sent to destination queue right as i said for that we have a messaging bridge in between okay so, so the message will be get posted in your source queue will be sent to your destination queue with the help of a bridge okay but now because we have a two queues here right two queue that means one is a queue for source and another queue is for destination right so we have to do a mapping between the source queue and the destination queue okay so for that we have to define a two bridge destinations jms bridge destinations okay so when we talk about the physical configuration so apart from configuring the bridge which will connect your two messaging system you have to define a two jms bridge destination one is for source and another is for destination so the message from the bridge uh, source destination will be reached to your uh, target destination right so so it is very clear that we have a messaging bridge so when we are in a weblogic uh, configuration so we have to create a messaging bridge and now because we have two queues where when the message is going from source queue to destination queue so for each queue we need a jms bridge destination one will called as a source uh, jms bridge destination where we will provide the connection factory and the jndi of your source queue and second we will define the jms bridge destination okay which we will define the configuration of your destination queue right because they are running on a different system so there would be a different ip uh, for the bo both systems and then there could be a different port for your ser uh, managed servers right so in source jms bridge destination we will define the source queue configuration and in the jms bridge destination we will define for in, in the target we will define the target queue configurations and this is how your jms messaging bridge works so what would be a high level action plan for this one you will have a source and you have a target and you have to send a message from source queue to a target queue right so there would be two part one part as i said you you have to be uh, you have to be a, a a queue between your source and target right so that means for that you will have to create a queue in your source and you will have to create a queue in your target so this we have saw in one of our previous lecture uh, with the demo that how we can create a queue right because a queue for a queue there's a dependency of other components like first we have a managed server right inside managed server you will create a jms server which is the physical entity uh, for storing your messages once your jms service is created and targeted to your managed server you will have a jms module inside that you will create a connection factory so connection factory is an entity which is used to create the connection between source to target right so whenever we send the messages from source to target first the connection is initiated and the connection is created with the help of connection factory so once your connection is created with the help of connection factory then you will define a queue right which will hold your messages so this we saw in the first demo okay so i'm going to skip this one or if you wanted to go through that one you can see that video as well okay and this is the link for that video so now in part b in this particular uh, demo what we are going to see how we can create a jms bridge destination and jms source destination and then a jms bridge so here we have to map our uh, source and destinations queue with the jms bridge destinations so this is part b execution so first you have to create a bridge destination for your source go to your admin console click on services messaging and bridges inside bridge click on jms bridge destinations and click on new okay so after that you have to specify the details of your source destination jms bridge destination so you, name you can specify according to the requirement okay but make sure to have it very clear so that you can understand which is the source which is the target so i have given the source jms bridge destination name the scope would be global adapter as i said there would be a, a resource adapter which will be required by the bridge for the communication so this will be automatically populated for you in connection url you have to specify the source weblogic server host ip address and the port so in my case the host is local host and the port on which i i, I have targeted my jms queues is 7001 okay and then connection factory jndi name is when you will create a connection factory you have to specify a jndi name and this jndi name will be mentioned here similarly the queue name that you have specified in the queue when you have configured your queue for that you have given a gnd name which we will specify here so this is this will complete your configuration for your source jms destination and it is created right so now we have to create a new jms destination for the target right so similarly again click on new okay now what we are going to create a jms destination for target so i have given the name as remote jms destination okay bridge destination uh, scope would be clever adapter will be populated automatically now in the connection url you have to specify the host name of your remote server that means for your target from where the message is going from source to target okay so my host name for the target is remote host and the managed port in which my queues are deployed is there in the remote host is 7001 rq cf is the connection factory of my jndi name of my connection factory which i have created on the target similarly remote queue jndi is the jndi name of the queue that i have created on my target right so this is this will complete the configurations of your source and target jms based destination so in the inside the source based destination we have given the queue one detail 
Q1 in the source queue detail, okay, where the message will be uh, will be uh, produced. And then after the message production, it will send to the remote queue, which I have given inside my remote JMS bridge destination. So now my bridge destinations are ready. So I will create a bridge. So what is the bridge? In bridge, I will map source and destination, bridge destination, whatever I have created so far. Now click on bridges and click on new. Name, give a name to your bridge. And then scope would be global. And then quality of service would be exactly one. So because you want to message to be delivered only once. And then click on the checkbox started so that it will make sure that once your bridge is created, it is automatically started. Okay, and then select or create a source bridge destination. So I had created a source and destination. So first I will select the source JMS bridge destination. Okay, and the messaging provided because I am going to have a communication between two different so, uh, domains of my weblogic. So I will select as a JMS uh, weblogic source server. If you have some other messaging system, you can select the other JMS. Once source is selected, you have to select the target bridge destination. Okay, similarly, what we have created, we will select in the Dropbox, right? And then again, we will sell, select the message provider as WebLogic server, and then the select the servers on which you want to target. Okay, it is the same where I have targeted my queues. Okay, and your message bridge is completed. You will see that the bridge is completed, created, where the source bridge destination would be source JMS bridge destination, and my target bridge destination is my remote JMS bridge destination. So the benefit could be because you are uh, creating a bridge in between so that your message is directly producing in a separate queue and then it is getting picked and split in a separate queue. Okay, so there could be a possibility that you, you may not use the bridge in between your source application can directly contact your target JMS queues. Okay, but in that case, if suppose that if you have some problem in the target destinations at that time, maybe your server is not responding, it is get crash or maybe it is hanging. That means your producer will not get a proper response from the target when it is directly connecting to your target queues. Okay, in that case, it if the problem in the target, okay, it can degrade the performance or it can impact your uh, source JMS system as well. So once we have a bridge in between so that it will always make sure any problem in your target will not impact your source because your source always putting the message in a uh, source queue and then which is getting picked later by in a different queue, which is a destination queue by your messaging bridge. Okay, so if you have any problem with your source target destination, then you will not have a problem with the source destinations. And this is the major, you can see the benefit of your messaging bridge. So this is all about the messaging bridge and JMS destinations. And if you like this video, stay tuned. And I will come up with a few more interesting videos very soon.